What's happening guys? My name's Jamie. This isn't the Reptile Shed and in this video I'm going to show you how I just redid and made a simple vivarium for a young false water cobra. Okay, so I've got a bare vivarium here. This is my, one of my old vivariums and I've already sealed around all the edges with um, marine silicon. Um, anytime you get a new vivarium, if that hasn't been done or if it's a flat pack vivarium, I really strongly advise to do that. It will just help save the, um, the, the viv. Might get a couple more years out of it just to stop that moisture going in. Um, and even if it's a fairly dry animal and you're using a drier bedding um, you can still spill water bowls or poo or you know anything like that can uh, can get into the uh, to the to the wood and blow it so uh, yeah strongly suggest doing that that's all I'm gonna do on this vivarium this time um, as you know in the reptile shed I'm upgrading things constantly I'm building enclosures and I don't plan on having any um, shop raw enclosures in there um, in the future, so I'm going to uh, just go ahead with this one and add the substrate. So this is the substrate I'm going for this time. Um, I was going to make a soil and bark mix. Um, I went to uh, one of my friend's reptile shops. They didn't have the fine bark that I normally use in stock. So I thought I'd give this stuff a go. Um, and as you can see, it, it is pretty cool. Um, I would I would buy it again, I reckon. Um, it's a bit sharp in the hands. Now that doesn't, that's not gonna do anything to reptiles obviously, but uh, yeah, it's 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 definitely um, slightly sharper than uh, fine orchid bark would be if you mix that up. Uh, but this is basically cocoa husk, um, but just with a little bit more bits in it, um, so it's not just a fine sort of soil. So I think actually, as it is, could make a pretty decent soil. We're going to add leaf litter to it anyway, um, and we're going to use this. I'm going to use this as the base, so that. That block comes in a comes in a box like this, and it makes uh, 75 liters. So that's actually more than this. Um, I've taken a massive lump out. This is about half of what it makes, which is which is pretty decent for the money. Um, yeah, definitely, really really good one. So let's add this to the vivarium. Okay, so next up I'm just going to put some cork in there, sort of like a cool, hide, cool, uh, cool side hide, and then a hot side hide, um, and then our soil, sort of like that deep, pretty good depth of soil there, like 5-6 centimetres, which would be good, and then I'm going to add one of these philodendrons as well in the corner. Then next up, I'm just going to build up like a, a little stone corner for the basking spot. So I've got some of these flat slate stones. You get these from just a garden centre. They're only like 
couple of quid, something like that. No, it's not a lot of money at all. Just finish it off with some branches, some of the old stuff that came out. Okay, so we'll talk about equipment quickly. UVB, uh, Arcadia Shade Dweller up there. Um, I believe that's 7%. Nice easy fixture to put into a vivarium. Um, yep, absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have that with the snakes. Really easy to fit. Just put a plug straight out the back. Uh, no problem at all. And then on this side, I've gone for a my standard sort of heating arrangement, which is the Komodo ceramic socket, uh, the Komodo 210 mil, so the longer um, cage, and then in there is a Reptile Systems 60 watt heat lamp. So we've got a nice mixture here. Uh, obviously, if this was a longer viv, we'd try and put our UV maybe closer to our heat spot, but it's in the middle. We've got a lot of places to hide so that's all cool we've got a nice little plant this is uh, philodendron silver um, so hopefully that will well that will climb all around and this UV light will be adequate lighting for that philodendrons are pretty cool for that um, so we've got nice rocks here to help with our basking spot make it a little bit more natural we've got a firm step down here um, it's not directly under the lamp so the lamps gonna be on um, and the thermostat probe is sort of hidden away a little bit and then obviously goes up through there so uh, yeah nice little redo for this one I'm just gonna put the glass back in and then we will uh, we'll put me uh, my little false water cobra back in the uh, back in the viv
Okay, that'll do it for this one, guys. Um, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, in two months' time, this guy is going into his next vivarium as some of the uh, snakes go further up um, after the cooling period, and the royal python goes into the uh, into the new viv. So uh, yeah, keep keep an eye out. We'll make him a uh, we'll make him a, a, a cool viv because the next one's going to be a bit bigger, a little bit more permanent for a while. So uh, yeah. Please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, check us out on all the uh, all the other platforms, all that kind of stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video.